Welcome to Rookies Only, the edition where we look at the rookies in the NBA throughout the year, see how the pre-draft evaluation we did compares to how they played in the game. And so we're going to start with Jaime Jaquez Jr., drafted by the Miami Heat. Here he is right in the middle of your screen. Number 11. And so he was a power forward mainly in college. But in our pre-draft profile, some of the things we mentioned is that he has po position flexibility, uh, be able to guard one through four on switches. And he's also going to be on defense. He's going to be very competitive. Even though he didn't show to be an uber athlete in college in terms of defense because he was asked to do so much on offense, he is really athletic. He can really move his feet. He really wants to play defense. And you can see that because look at his knee bend. That is excellent position for someone that wants to actually move their feet, slide their feet, and play defense. So the thing about Jaime is that he has such a high basketball IQ that he just switches these actions, moves his feet really well, and he's really a competitive defender. Uh, let's run this through and then we'll talk about it. Oh yeah, so let's talk about it. So the ball gets swung. He gets he gets on the defender here. Defender gets him lean in a little bit. But he recovers nicely, right? So he's right back into the fight. And so he sees the screen. His first instinct as a young player, like any pl young player, is to take this space and slide through. But that would be a mistake. That would give your shooter a chance for a nice easy jumper. So what does he do? He plants this right foot in the ground and you'll see him step up. So that way he can get over this screen. So that way Thomas Bryant here, who is the center, doesn't have to switch. Because if he switches, that compromises your defense. So this is an excellent recognition play as well as showing off that foot speed to be able to pull it off. He steps over sticks right in front of him. And then film study, this is where the IQ comes in. Jaime Hawkins Jr. said in one of his interviews that he read the scouting report that Ivy likes to spin, so he figured the ball would be there. Lo and behold, he was able to get on his shoulder on the spin and just take that ball away. Excellent rep defensively, and that bodes well for Jaime Hawkins Jr. going forward. Let's take a look at Jaime on the def on the offensive end. So Jaime Hawkins Jr. here on offense. We're gonna see him working in the short corner. He's got a veteran player on him in Joe Harris, who's not known for his defense. He's a shooter, but he's a veteran, so he should be a little bit more savvy than Jaime. Um, but there's a number of things I want to talk about here. And it's going to translate not just to Jaime Hawkins Jr., but all the rookies that we're going to talk about here today. Um, the first thing is, a lot of rookies really have a tendency, to, as soon as they catch the ball, to put it on the floor and start dribbling. Not Jaime. Jaime utilizes the triple threat position, which is when you get the ball, you square up to the basket, you can either pass, shoot, or dribble drive. He does that to perfection. And one of the things Jaime said that he does is he studied Kobe Bryant, he studied Jimmy Butler, those types of players that have excellent footwork and fundamentals. And that's why in our pre-draft write-up, we said he was going to be NBA ready to play. And this is going to show you why. I'm going to play it through and then we're going to break it down. That's just beautiful basketball. Beautiful basketball. And here's... Here's why. So the first thing is, in our pre-draft process, we noted that Jaime is really good at pinning the defender and giving a good angle for the entry pass. And so you can see Caleb Martin has a great angle to throw this pass into the corner. Now the spacing isn't great with Thomas Bryant sitting there. So this is a veteran move here. He catches the ball, reverse pivots, 
so he can see what's going on. So now that he sees that Thomas Bryant has cleared out a little bit and that this baseline is open, now he has options. That's a very savvy veteran play for a rookie. And then the ball fake. There's the ball fake, gets the defender up in the air, takes the space. One thing I want you to notice is that he could have faded out this way. And that would have allowed Joe Harris time to recover. But instead, he put his shoulder right into the chest of Joe Harris. So the only way that Harris is going to be able to play this is to foul him or not contest it at all. And Joe Harris gets away with a foul here. This should have been an and one. But he's a rookie. He's not going to get those calls yet. Excellent play by Hyman. This is the same same time that he was on the court. Same uh, rotation, substitution rotation. You can see again, Jaime gets that nice base and seals his defender on his back, giving an easy target for Tyler to make this pass. Now, the defender, I understand you're worried about Tyler scoring, so, I mean, he's giving him a little respect, but you got to be up close or make us a tougher pass. But anyway, this isn't about Killian Hayes. This is about Jaime Hawkes Jr. I'm going to run this through and then we'll break it down. Oh, I mean, come on. Come on, man. He's a rookie? All right. So here we go again with that veteran patience. He's going to wait for Tyler to run off here. This you know, is going to get Josh Harris to switch. Killian Hayes is then going to take Jaime. So there it is. He waits. He sees it. Again, his head is always up. Triple threat position. He can throw that ball to Duncan if he wanted. So now he gets into it. Squares up on Killian Hayes. Again, ball and triple threat. Pump fake. Gets the guy off the air. Into the air. Takes it strong to the basket. Again, savvy basketball play. He just makes the right play. The ball never touches the ground. It was immediate. It was an immediate pass. That's a little thing. But it's such a big thing. He's not a ball hog. The lights aren't too bright for him. He's not, it's not all about Jaime. It's about making the right basketball play. Lastly, here we go again. It's like instant replay. You can see the wide base. He gets in the, in the post to give a great target. Duncan gives him the pass. Jaime with a little reverse pivot, sees Duncan, lets it fly. Nothing but the bottom of the net. It's just he makes the right plays. It's like he's been in the league for 20 years. And remember, anytime you're in an isolation situation, which is you going one on one with your guy, gotta, he always keeps his head up. He's always looking for his teammates first, and then he decides if he wants to take his man. But you can see this flare screen set by Thomas Bryant. All this open room for Duncan. Not a bit of hesitation by Jaime. Just zips that ball right over to Duncan. Easy triple. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think about Jaime Hawkins Jr. in the comments below. See you next time.